every time there's eviction, it's like cloudy and overcast and it looks like it's about to rain. The storm clouds literally do roll in. Or it rains like the day after eviction day, you know, to kind of wash all the blood off the walls. The mood for the housemates is very, very sombre. It's like someone dies. I hate eviction day. In the afternoon, everyone's just moping around. Everyone gets really quiet, all the extroverts get quiet. It's just it's like everyone's waiting for it. The thought of going home is scary. I get busy, I go around kind of like making beds and rearranging the cushions a little bit. And then like everyone starts having their showers and you primp and you preen and you spend hours just making yourself pretty to try and get your mind off it. And then the bench comes out and you just think this, this is it. Your heart starts to, starts to pump. The air is thick. It is that moment of like fight or flight. Your body takes over, your chemicals are running through your mind and your body. This has got to be hands down the most defining week we've had. Five original housemates up. This is the toughest one. Out of all the evictions, this is the toughest. <laughs> night in the Big Brother 2013 saga. The metaphorical storm clouds are rolling in as we prepare for one of the five original housemates to be evicted and their exit will cause an irreversible shift in the dynamic of Australia's most famous house. You could say a Big Brother natural disaster is on its way. So who will it be? Mean Tata Tahan. Yeah. Arriva Dirty Ed. Yeah. Bon voyage Ben. Yeah. Toodaloo Tim. Yeah. Or is it time to bid adieu to Dre? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what Australia has had to say about the matter. Voting graph, please. Oh, whoa. Okay. In the red on 16.3, someone is in danger, but two other people are also in danger. Only 0.1% between the first two and then 0.4% of a percent between the next two. And then someone clearly streets ahead on 32%. So that is extraordinarily close. It's been a high impact week so far. On Monday, Nathan made the ultimate Big Brother sacrifice and he gave up his place so intruder Madeline could stay. So let's cross live and see how they're all going. No. Denim. Oh, hello, oh, housemates. Hello. Hi. You're in the final nine. <laughs> Now, in the last week, you've lost the Sugar Sisters and Nathan, and now yeah. it's time for another one to go. You're dropping like flies. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. Boog. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. How tough is it knowing that if the housemates had the chance, they would have kept Madeline over you? <laughs> I mean, it was a close one, Sonia, wasn't it? Seven to one. <laughs> what did she say? Seven to one. Seven to one. Seven to one. Oh. Ripper. <laughs> All right, well, Madeline. Hi. Hi. You must have been happy with the housemates' votes, but are you concerned about Australia's? Yeah, of course. I mean, that put a bit of a spanner in the works. It was a bit of an emotional roller coaster that day, mm -hmm. um, but just so lucky that we both got to stay. Just looking at the positives. 
Absolutely. Michaela. Hi. Showdown champ again. Yay. Safe so again. <laughs> You've got the superpower. Is there actually any way of getting you out of the house? <laughs> no, I'm here to stay. <laughs> you have to go get me yourself. <laughs> Jade. Hi. Hey, who would you least like to see go tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> All right, the four of you guys can put your feet up, enjoy the proceedings. The rest of you, I will talk to you soon. And the next time we chat, I'll have something very exciting to show you. Oh, my God. Exciting is good. Exciting is good. Exciting is good. I'm going to be saying it. Okay, so Big Brother has given me permission to pull out some big cards tonight and give the housemates information from the outside world that will absolutely floor them. I'm going to do that soon. Our five nominees have all fought hard to get this far, but now it's down to you to keep them in the game. I can't tell you who to vote for. I'll leave that up to the nominees themselves. Oh, oh next. Next. Hi Australia, we're coming to the last quarter of Big Brother this year. I'm not ready to sit on the bench, so please vote to save me and uh, keep me kicking goals this year. And kissing Jay. Kissing Jay. Don't let that kiss out, by the way. Hi Australia, yes, I'm the only girl up against these boys this week, but don't go easy on me because I have bigger kahunas than them and I'm tough and I'll take them on. Please keep voting. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Okay, Australia, you know these guys want me out of here, but you guys can choose. Keep me in here. It's like a ride. Scream if you want to go faster. I'm going to play harder. I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Australia. Vote to keep me in the house. Trust me, you want me in here with this riffraff and not out there with you. <laughs> Look out. Lock up your daughters. <laughs> ben, you're on. Hello, Big Brother viewers. Thank you so much for all your support. Time to get your PJs back on and vote to save me. I can't wait to give you all a big hug, kiss, or a handshake when I get out. They're getting very good at that. Voting lines are still open if you're in a daylight saving state, but closed everywhere else. So make sure you keep voting if you can. Now, as we know, not everyone in the house is super close, but this week's task saw Big Brother forcing them together whether they liked it or not. Housemates, the teams have changed. Ooh. This week's rock, paper, scissors task splits the housemates into three teams. Tim and Ed, you are the rocks. Yeah. yeah. Jade and Maddie, you are the papers. Tahan, Ben and Drew, you are the scissors. Hey. Teams can't be in the same place at the same time and are required to mark their territory. We know what we're doing, don't we, darling? <laughs> <laughs> that looks delish. So Next door in the presidential suite, showdown winner Michaela and her guest Boog are having a more relaxed start to the day. Cheers. Cheers. It's a good first date. Yeah, this is a perfect mm. first date. In the main house, the papers are in the bathroom. The problem is, the scissors need to use it. What are you doing? We'll just go sit in the lounge. Like two minutes, literally. Scissors beats paper, but the scissors have decided to cross their legs. Have you peed yet? Well, I have a bladder of steel, but um. Did you want to pee in the gold room? Oh yeah, we can do that. What's your absolute favourite meal? I just love a burger with a lot. Cheese, avocado, egg. Um, uh, what, what's the fruit? Pineapple, mm -hmm. um, lettuce, tomato, and like a mayo -y kind of aioli, aioli tomato. Bacon? See, I, w I don't mind if the bacon, actually no, I want the bacon. <laughs> the bacon is good. Do you feel hard for girls, normally? Yes. Yeah. I don't know, Maddie for example, and then Boogs or whatever. That's just how it, how it is normally with you. Yeah, I always know when there's conversations happening about me with other people, mm. you know when someone brings something up out of the blue oh, definitely. that you go, oh, okay, so there's obviously an issue there that yeah. I wasn't aware of. Yeah. Tim has openly declared his romantic interest in Boog, but some of the housemates are questioning his motives. So like I almost go like 
is he doing that to make Boog stay or is he doing stuff with Boogs to make her leave? Everyone's saying Boogs is heaps like Heidi. Yeah. And he's trying to do the stuff, yeah, with Boogs that he did with Heidi. Yeah. Or does he think that she's a threat? Maybe. Do you think she's a threat? Probably. Mm. Go as far as you can. Go see if you can walk. Wait, let's see if we can, if you can stretch it. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's oh, it just put it just. I'm so sorry. It it's put good... pressure on my stomach. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Oh, uh, cool. Actually, was probably good. It got it out. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I'm like, need to get this scissors again. Hello. Hello. After spending time with Boog in the presidential suite. Michaela is keen to find out Tim's current feelings for Boog. Boog has you, Tim. Mm. I don't think we're that close. Mm. I'd like to think we were, but I think it's just one-sided. Do you think you're closer to her or she's closer to you? Oh, I guess me closer to her, but... Do you trust her? Oh, I don't think trust is even important this in the game now. <laughs> No, no, I don't think anybody should trust anybody because it is just, hmm. we're all just... This it's very enlightening, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, just, I said this to you the other night. There's no Please. sides anymore in my mind. We're all too close. Yeah, we are. This is Big Brother. All teams to the lounge. Oh, no. <laughs> After days of spending time tethered to each other, it's time to find out if they've passed the task. Yeah. If they occupied a space without marking it as their own, they'll be eating staple foods for the next week. Housemates, this week you have failed <laughs> the shopping task <laughs> and will receive a bland diet of staples. <laughs> After Michaela's earlier conversation with Tim about Boog, Michaela's frustrated by something he said. Tim himself said this morning that there's no more, there's no such thing as trust in this game anymore because we're so close to the end. And that offended me, but at the same time, I, I understand what he's saying, but that doesn't mean that everyone has to stop trusting each other. It just means that we need to stop trusting him because he no longer trusts us. Like Tim always likes being the underdog. And right now he's, the one leading everyone in his little games and his little victories. And um, I don't know if he realises that he's no longer an individual. He is part of a group dynamic where they're all doing what he's doing. So he's not really standing out as much. Is it fair to describe the house as being split into two groups at this point? I think there definitely is two groups. And whilst the line that divides them might be a little bit um, blurred, at times there is a definite divide between them. Jade and I, and Ed and Ben, know that we can trust each other 100%. And I would never ever let them down. The others don't have that amongst themselves. Eviction tomorrow. Oh. Do you reckon this will be one of the biggest shocks yet? Is there anything Depends that, who goes. Yeah, is there anything that wouldn't be a shock? Yeah, that's, no matter who goes, it's going to be a shock, I reckon. Yeah. I think no matter who goes, I think it's going to be emotional. I don't, I don't think know. it'll be shocking no matter unexpected. who goes, because we know someone's going to go. It'll be unexpected, yeah. So, exactly. yeah. I think shock's the wrong word. I think yeah. it's emotional. Yeah. yeah. Vlog. Oh. Emotional, unexpected, I think they're all good words. Tonight's voting is so close, you will not believe who is leading the votes to save. It will surprise you. Now, five of the biggest characters of 2013 are facing eviction, and Tahan is the only girl. So will the rose amongst the thorns be getting the chop tonight? I'm over the boys winning. I'm over the guys thinking that they're like alpha males. Tan's a very strong individual and I'm sure she'll be uh, confident going into this eviction. 
I call Tahan Teflon Tahan because she's just indestructible. We don't underestimate her, we know what she's capable of. My impression of Tahan is probably one of the biggest opponents in here. She's um, been able to fight and stay and prove that she is more than the girl in the yellow bikini. I wouldn't just lay over and go, oh, okay, you guys can win. <laughs> no way in hell. <laughs> and who do you think will leave this week? Uh, I think Drew will leave this week. I just think he's falling back into Tim's tricks. I think it's between myself and Drew. It's gonna be myself or Ed. I think the showmance will be doing wonders for Ed. I think Ed could leave. Ed. It's always been a rivalry between Ed and I. Anyone out there that goes, it's gonna be a huge loss. Eviction Night Live, where the voting lines for Daylight Saving States are about to close, so you must vote now to save your favourite. It goes without saying the nominees are nervous, but what about the people who care about them the most? The housemates' loved ones can only ever watch from afar. Mike Goldman's checking What's... in with them now, Mikey. Did, did I hear correctly? Are the voting lines still open? Yes. Normally you cut them off before people talk to me. All right. This, so this is your last ditch attempt to save your friends and family from being evicted tonight in the Big Brother house. We're getting to the home stretch. $250,000 is at stake. Tiny little percentage points. I've been working on this show since 2001 and I think this is probably the closest it's ever been. Janine here is Tim's best buddy. How you doing? Pretty good, thanks, Mike. Why aren't you in the little Tim onesie, you know, like Tim's dad was wearing last week? Oh, I don't think it'd be a good look on me, Mike. Janine, you've got to tell me, what's going on with, with Boog? Is, is Tim just playing her for points or is it for real? Oh, no. It, I think Boog is someone that Tim would get along really well with, definitely. Well, you would know that because Tim used to date your daughter. That's right, he did. I think a couple of the daughters. Oh, both of them? What? <laughs> we'll read about that in New Weekly. Oh, hello, Team Ben. It's Margaret. I recognise you from the picture frame. Hey, um, hey, Margaret, do you speak to a picture frame of Ben at home as well, like he does to you? <laughs> no, I don't, but I love it when he talks to me through the picture frame. And Margaret, what, what does it mean to Ben? Have you seen him change the whole time that he's been in the house? Oh, yes, he's grown so much because he was so down earlier this year and it's thanks to Linda who sort of encouraged him to go and audition because he wasn't going to. And look where he is now. He's just... He's just... Okay, there you go. Thank you, Margaret. Say hi to Nana for me. Oh, look. I'm sorry. Just tuned in. Ed's been evicted. Bad luck, Ed. No, it's Ed's twin brother, Nick. Hello. How are you going? I'm really good, mate. So, well, finally, they've had a real date. Jade and Ed had a... He gave her a rock. Has he done that before? Uh, look, I think that's probably a first, but the date's certainly been a long time in the making. Okay, so if he gets evicted tonight, is he out to play or is he going to stay home, get an early night and behave until Jade gets evicted? Uh, look, <laughs> look um, we'll, we'll Yeah, he's going to go out and party, isn't he? Uh, look, that, that's up to him. I love Jade. You should stay with her. She's amazing. Hello. It's, oh my, it's Drew's mum. Hello. Hi, Mike. How are you? Thank you for coming to the show, Helen. Um, so uh, you, you miss Drew, obviously? We do miss him, but he's having a ball, absolutely having a ball. And, and tell me, uh, have you met uh, your future daughter-in-law? Oh, Tully. Yes, Tully, she knew straight away. Yes. We've been hanging out all afternoon, yeah. She's... Oh, is she here? Is she here as a family and friend, a loved one, a boyfriend, girlfriend thing, what? You choose, you choose. Oh, okay, we don't... well, good luck tonight. It's getting down to the wire here. Last but not least, the only girl that is nominated tonight. She could go, this, this is Tahan's mum, Linda, and you, you've got your own seat here. You've been to almost every eviction. I think my name's written on one of them, so yeah. <laughs> you think she's going to go tonight because she's the only girl? I hope not, I definitely hope not. I hope not, no, no, definitely not. We will see, this is your last chance, Australia, to get on the phone right now and vote for who you want to keep in the Big Brother house. It's getting to the tail end of it. $250,000 given away soon, Sonia. Thank you, Mikey. Well, the voting lines 
have now closed in all states. So I hope you got in there. Which of our famous five will be evicted tonight? Now, last night, Ed and Jade went on a date to the Garden of Eden. But then Jade found out Surly was responsible for some of Ed's strange behaviour. And the fallout has continued in the house. You have really nice elbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to say that. It was either that or we don't have dinner. <laughs> or we don't do anything. I just noticed you have really nice elbows. I have nice elbows. You do, they're like really pointed. <laughs> Can I touch it? Yeah, I was like... You did everything so well. Uh, I thought some things were odd, but I thought this I is really thought cute because he's get, making like... Do you know what I thought you were going to get? The one about um, licking the plate. I really like this sauce. I lick it clean. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> it was very cute. Apart from that, it's still pretty good. It was still good. Oh. My lady Jay. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> Here. Oh. To be ridiculous like my lady JD. <laughs> <laughs> the rock was the last one. The rock. I, f I did feel bad about the rock. Because you're like, oh, this is so cute. And I say, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rock that, we, that I said is a magical rock and it's special. That is so sweet. Like, so you're probably thinking, what an idiot. Like, this is the worst first time. I was just thinking you were trying to do memorable things. And I was thinking, he's so good at first dates. I don't think Ed is willing to say, Yes, we'll try oh, it no. on the outside because I just, I don't think, like we don't want to, he doesn't want to promise anything that he can't keep. No, and that's, like, that's um, common sense. A lot of girls out there and <laughs> that live closer and that are going to be going nuts over him. Yeah, it's different for girls and guys. Because you, like, you, like most other girls, couldn't give a stuff if guys are going nuts over you. Yeah. If I fall for someone, the world of guys could be in front of me and I wouldn't care. Mm. Whereas guys quickly forget. Is Ed your type running off past statistics? Mm. Yes and no. The guys that I've gone for in the past look more like you. They look more like me. Mm. You mean hot? Huh? You mean hot? Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you do look disturbingly Italian. No, I do. I gotta have a shave. I had a good chat with Drew just then. Oh, good. Yeah, it was good to talk to him again. Yeah. Because that's the thing that's hurt the most lately is just not having him. Yeah. And I know I don't have him anymore, but I can still see that the, the Drew that I love is still there. Yeah. And even though I'm not really sure if I can trust him, it was just really nice to talk to him. I hate not trusting Drew. Mm, I hate it too. And I didn't realise how much it affected me. I think Drew's kind of feeling like it's his time. Yeah. Have you thought about what will happen if someone else leaves? I will be one sad cookie. I know. You know what it is? It's just the fact that if he goes, that's probably the end of our relationship. What? Could it all be over? Did it ever really begin? I'm still confused about that. Tonight, we will reveal crucial news from the outside world to all housemates. Then we'll blow one of them away with the eviction. Could it be the outspoken stunner, Tahan, who goes tonight? One of the nice guys, Ed or Ben, or one half of the hood rat crew, Tim or Drew? Eviction breakfast. Someone's last breakfast in the Big Brother house. Someone's dream is over tonight Someone will feel like a failure for the rest of their life <laughs>
Join the online brotherhood in time for tonight's huge eviction. One of the game's original housemates is about to be sent home. So head to Facebook, Twitter or download the Jump In app to grill tonight to Vic D about their big brother experience. Hashtag VB of Vic D. Night Live, where in a matter of weeks, one of the housemates will walk away with a quarter of a million dollars. But for someone, that dream ends tonight. Now, unlike the rest of us, housemates can't just order a pizza and get it delivered. They have to make it themselves, and that can cause problems. What are you making again? Cookie dough. Oh, no, we were going to do pizza that. Yeah. You want to do that? Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. So I go tell the other room. Mm. <laughs> Anyone want pizza? Tahan's in there making cookie eight. dough, but no, thank you. Cheese. Are you hungry? Is that why? Herb, yeah. Should we really make pizza? I'm not really hungry. Well, I, don't I, don't I said that, but last night for someone. Yeah, but. <laughs> I don't think we have enough we don't stuff, have, Tammy. We've got to remember we're on staples. All right, I'll be back. Ten bucks says, he goes back to the group and says, the gold room wasn't very happy with us making pizzas. Um, I'll, I'll bet you a I'll million. Bet you Should we really be making pancakes, I mean, pizzas when we're on staples? Who said that? Who said if that? you think about it, Jade. Are you serious? I know. She's I'm getting lippy today. <laughs> She's <laughs> getting lippy. Getting a bit of lip about you. Well, it's just common sense. Yeah. We have eaten. We had a big today. dinner. Where's the oh? That actually just looks like it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that is so funny. <laughs> Check your ball. More. More. I'm gonna be in so much trouble for this. Staple oh, yeah. schmuggles. Yeah. What is the brakes when you flip it over? No, yeah, put it this. all over it. <laughs> this is so good. I love it. I feel like we're like prisoners. I know, I've like literally gotten so bad stuff in here. out of jail. This meat seal, it's. Oh. <laughs> so it is, yeah. Oh, <laughs> That is oh, perfect. <laughs> Ed has a cute name for me. <laughs> what is it? <coughs> what is it, Ed? Uh, you shut up, you. <laughs> what is it? No, nah, I'm walking around. I said that I know that if I had to embarrass her, I'd call her. <laughs> what is it, Ed? Huh? What is it? Um, What's the name that you made up? It's his name. <laughs> what is it, Ed? What is it? <laughs> is it JD Wadey or something? That's no, worse than that. It's worse. But it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, what is it? I wish it was real. <laughs> what is it? No, what is it, Ed? <laughs> what is it? Ed? Is it something that rhymes with JD? Yeah. yeah. JD Baby? Nah. Nah. Yeah, all right, now I just sit back and wait. I packed my bag, which was a silly thing to do. Oh, you did tonight? Mm. I just got sad. It is. Oh. Yeah. I just got sad. Don't have to worry, Benny. I just felt sad. It is I'm sad. sad. We're all a bit like that. Yeah. I can't That's hide it. Oh my god. Four of us. 80% chance. 80% of us. 80% of us. 80%, of us. 80 That's high. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's it's big. big. Yeah, I just realised that. Being in here, I think my life's quite empty. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, anymore. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I just um, I think I'll, if I like if I go, it's not about not winning. It's thing. I think I'll miss people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I miss the company. I I get more anxious at home by myself than I do with people, and I never thought that people would make me oh, less anxious. No. Well. I love you've you. learned what you need to learn in here. Benny, you've made friends. We're going to be there for you after. We're going to support you. Not in here, but also out of here as well. Yeah. You do realise that. You're yeah, an just, amazing person. I just find it hard to um, 
meet people on the outside who I who I like. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I meet a lot of people. I think, oh yeah, I hope you get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> My like people at work say, you want to catch her? I'm like, oh, I'm really busy. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just hard to make a connection. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Pretty Lady JD. Almost. Yeah, almost. Sexy Lady JD. Nope. Sexy Maidy JD. Nope. Oh. You're closer before. Pretty. Oh. Weedle. Sexy <laughs> minx, JD. I don't know what is that. Lady is the second word. Oi, oi. My lady, JD. <laughs> you already told me what you did. No, I didn't. No, it wasn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I wanted to embarrass you. Is it really? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is it good? Yeah. Oh my god, Bert, you're gonna love it. Oh, this is not bad enough. No. Holy! This is better than last time. Oh, okay, yeah. This is actually so good. Oh my god, I've paid for worse pizzas than this. Same. I I've paid a lot for worse pizzas than this. I haven't contributed to this and I just feel like I've just wandered out now and just kind of just yeah. like claiming your treasure. This is Big Brother. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm actually really hungry. How are you? How The dog. How'd the pizza go? Yeah, I was alright. Uh, I was having a margarita. Was... Margarita? It was a bit rubbery. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm starving. And I agree with Drew. When it comes to getting extra mints, lying is totally justified. One of the longest surviving members of the house is about to be taken out of the game. It's safe to say the forecast for tonight is eviction storm approaching. Evictions can make grown men cry because it's a sense of loss, I guess. Yeah, I've cried a few times. Cried when Heidi left, cried when Ben left. Cried when Tully left. I've shed a few tears. I do definitely understand why people cry, and, and I've done it myself. <sighs> that makes you upset to think that this is where the story ends. I've become that person that cries and says, I don't know why I'm crying. The journey, at least in the house, is coming to an end, and I think that does bring on the tears, even in the strongest. <laughs> Blokiest of people. <laughs> it's tears of sadness and joy. No matter who goes, we're losing a family member. <laughs> oh dear, welcome back to an emotional Big Brother. We are about to do something that is hugely significant for the housemates. Big Brother goes to extraordinary lengths to make sure they never have any information from the outside world. But I'm about to give them an insight into how the public have been voting this week. So what we're about to show them will flip them out. Let's cross live to the house. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know what I'm talking about. Hi, Hi housemates. Hi, Sonia. Hi. <laughs> we are getting closer than ever to the eviction, but we're not starting just yet. I have something. I think you'll be extremely interested to see. Interested. Mm. Yeah. And it's something generally reserved only for the evictee. Oh. oh. Mm. I'm about to show you how the public have been voting in this no week's eviction. Way. Oh my god. All right, what you're going to see is a graph. Oh, which shows the latest percentages of Australia's votes to save. You won't see faces, only numbers, 
And the person who's at the top in red is the one in danger of going home tonight, okay? You ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. Take a look. Oh, wow. That's so wow. close. 32. 32. What the hell? At least if you go, you know, you're pretty close. Oh, yeah. wow. It was tough. Oh, oh my gosh. God. That is stiff. Quick, Mum! <laughs> <laughs> so, it is a little bit late for that, Tim. It's very, very close. I can tell you that this year, there has been no pattern to the voting. The person Whoa. with the highest number of votes each week has been different almost every time. We have no way of telling who will be saved each oh. week. So trust me, neither do you guys, okay? I'm going to let you digest it and I'll be back soon to get the eviction started. Oh. 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 So wait, what was the difference between? It was yeah. Yeah. 16 .2, 16 .9, 17, yeah, 17. Yeah, since we've never done that before. I know. Seventeen point eight was always. Hang on, was it sixteen point two, sixteen point eight, seventeen, sixteen point nine? Well, I think that's um throwing them for a bit of a loop. We've heard the housemates speculate about who will be in the final three, and current thinking has Tim, Ben, and Tahan firming as house favourites. Are we about to have a massive upset and see one of them leave tonight? Tim, Ben and Tahan, the three housemates rated most likely to win. Ben, Tim, Tahan, you're up there too, I reckon. For one of them, it's been a difficult cross to bear. I just think it just puts like a target on your back when, when yep. you haven't put yourself out there to, for that. Yeah. But there's no doubt they are all big characters in the game. Tim, Tahan and Ben are extremely entertaining on their own merit. Each one has stamped their own unique personality on the house. Sneaky and strategic, bold and confrontational, kooky and fun. Yeah, you probably find it's your gasket. But in recent weeks, the stress has started to show. I don't have anything to go back to. Oh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> you do have so much to go back to because we're not going to leave you, Ben. Can they continue their run of popularity to the end? If the world came to an end, three things would survive. Cher, cockroaches and Tahan. Or will the weight of expectation bring the big guns down? I want to be here on the final day with Ben, Tahan and whoever else wants to come along for the ride. It would be a true shock eviction if one of these favourites left tonight. It would be huge. It would be huge if one of us left. We know how close the voting is. It could be one of those three. It could be Ed and Drew. Ed and Drew. They're both very dreamy, both very dateable hunks, as proven by their house hookups with Jade and Tully. But there's still a level of competitiveness under those nice guy exteriors. On the surface, Ed and Drew are friends with everyone. Ed is Mr. Nice Guy. Probably lovable, likeable outside to Australia. Drew's really good looking. He's sort of an all-round really nice guy. He's just so darn likeable. But for these two likeable lads, that's where the similarities end. Ed is the ripped sports star and the alpha male. 38, 39, 40. While Drew is the alternative academic with a sensitive side. So the moral of that story is that I love you. Perhaps their differences began with Drew and Jade's divorce. Drew and Jade are not married. I think she's pretty keen on Ed, actually. It's a gentleman's game. Like. May the better man win. Or maybe it was Drew and Tully that Ed had the problem with. And what clouds your judgement in this thing is your infatuation with Drew. You think I'm being played? Not, I know you're being played. Whatever the reason, they haven't held back in nominations. I've nominated Drew. Ed. Two to Drew, two to Jade, two to Tahan. Three points to Ed. I don't think I can completely trust him. He'd get rid of me the first moment he could. So is the house big enough for these two original good guys? I have to be honest, I'm pretty nervous. I don't know what the Australian public think of me. So clearly Ed and Drew have some trust issues to sort out, but they might not have the chance after tonight. 
Ben, Drew, Ed, Tahan and Tim are all in the firing line and I can now confirm we've had more votes to save this week than any other eviction this year. The big surprises get underway next. Despite being up for eviction, yep. do you still think you can win? Oh, I'm going to have a go, but uh, that's up to the punters. I think Ben will definitely be in the top three. I would like to say myself, because I guess you've got to back yourself. I think it's Tim's game to win and Ed's game to lose. I've always thought Ben's going to go far because he is just himself. Yeah. yeah. We wouldn't come across many people like that in our lives. Yeah. My three pick would be myself, Tim and Ben in the finals. I don't know if Tim's going to be in top three now. Top three, I can honestly, you, Michaela and Ben. Really? I, I see Michaela up there too. That's what scares me. Mm. I didn't come in here to make friends or enemies. I came here to play a game and last to the very end. That's the idea. Welcome back. Each nominee has carved out a powerful position in the game and their elimination will have major consequences. The time has come to cross to the house and kick off the most important eviction yet. Yeah, I don't like that one. Hmm. The lighting of it? Just... Hey! Oh. <laughs> Hi, housemates. <laughs> hey, Sonia. All right, time to stop thinking about the graph we showed you yeah. and start thinking about the eviction. Firstly, though, I've spoken to Big Brother and we are renaming the red bench that you're sitting on the honorary Tahan bench. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Tahan? Um, yeah, good. Hopefully if it doesn't have any bad uh, omen tonight with it. <laughs> what do you think it's an advantage being the only girl up for eviction this week? Uh, I'm 50-50. The boys have kept telling me, oh, that's an advantage, but I actually don't because I think they're all very strong and I don't see any of them going. So, it's, yeah, 50-50. 50-50. Tim. Hello. No eviction jacket. Oh, no. I still haven't got it yet. <laughs> Is that lucky or unlucky? Oh, no. I don't want it till I'm leaving, I told Big Brother. So he gave me the choice the other day and I chose the balls for everyone. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Your conscience won you yes. over, didn't it? All right. Drew. Hi, Sonia. Hi. <laughs> you always look so laid back. Oh, <laughs> Are you. you nervous at all? Um, I'm getting better at these, but uh, it's a bit of a rush being on the bench, on the Tahan mm -hmm. bench. Mm -hmm. yes. Heart rate going? Yeah, it goes up, there. up, but yeah, I enjoy it, sort of. All right, my friends. This is eviction time. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Five of you have been nominated. One is about to be evicted. Australia has voted. You've seen the graph and I can't stress enough that nominees are about to be saved in no particular order. You cannot read anything into who is saved when. So, once again, in no particular order. One nominee who has received enough votes to save them and who will not be going home tonight is... Drew! The second safe nominee is... Tahan! The boys! The th the third safe nominee is... <laughs> to be announced when I return. <laughs> <laughs> She's loving it. Thanks, 
<laughs> Sorry, I never get enough of that. Drew and Tahan can breathe a sigh of relief, but there's a whole lot of trouble brewing for Ben, Ed and Tim. We'll find out which of our original five is going right after this. This is eviction night and it's time to send someone home. Only Ben, Ed and Tim are left sitting on the eviction bench and one of them is seconds away from being kicked out. Let's cross live and give them the news. Oh, mm-hmm. She's back. Hi, housemates. Hello. Hey, Sonia. Hello. Ben, <laughs> Ed. Yes. Tim, two of you are safe. One is tonight's evictee. The next housemate to be saved by Australia and who will be staying in the house is... Ed. Ben and Tim comes down to this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we are the odd couple. <laughs> we are. After receiving the least number of votes to save this week, Five. it's time to go. Time to go, Ben! One, so forgive old oh, car. So forgive that video. I've learned a lot. I've done all I could. I could. Oh my god, for God's sake. I've had a good time. Yes. Bye, Ed. So glad to I'm going to have a call me off. Yeah, I will. And I will be watching. Oh, come on. Come on, (laughs) This is Big Brother. Ben, you have been evicted. You have 10 seconds to exit the Big Brother house. Come on, Al. (laughs) Stop being so... (sighs) I met Bert and Patty and I met all of you and... The dog near me <laughs> laid by my bed as I packed. Oh, Benny. Um, I'm so glad to have met you, Ben. I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't be back. So don't expect me to come back. Uh, all of you have taught me something. This has been just mental health boot camp. I found it really, really tough, but. Yeah, I found it so rewarding. And I kind of knew. I'm going to be so happy. I kind of knew, so, um, I don't know. It won't be long till we see you anyway, Ben. Just, I don't know, best of luck, and I'll be watching, and I'll try, you know, this is just part of the reinvention of my life. Oh. 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 I'm so nervous about the auditorium. Yeah. That should be all, should be good though, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, Tim, come on, come on. Oh, for God's sake. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. I have to 
I have to go. I'm so nervous about the auditorium. Yeah, okay. I'll see how I go. Oh, you're going to be Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You okay? I can't talk. Yeah. Oh wow. I can't believe that just happened. He's kept us intrigued for close to three months now, but there's no need for Benny to talk to photos anymore. He will join us on stage right after this. <laughs> welcome back to Big Brother. Please welcome Bert Newton's best mate, it's Ben. going to cope without you talking to them. The pictures will be so lonely. The, did, did you put them in your bag? I packed the pictures in my bag. <laughs> Good, all right. They're always the last thing that I pack though, because I give them a little kiss oh. before I put them away. Oh. Um, so. Sweet. So you've got them with you. All right. Now, obviously, you didn't get the votes to, you needed to stay in the no, house. No, I didn't, know. But you saw how close it was It was tonight. so close. Let's yeah. have a look at the voting and let's reveal a few things. So there you are on 16.2. Yeah. So only 0.7 of a percent. But who do you think that is on 
percent. Who do you think that is? Oh, it'd be uh, Tim. You think that's Tim? Tim. All right, let's reveal yeah. it. <gasps> really? Oh, that's good. That's all right. Really? Tahan. Oh, I Tahan. love that. Amazing. Amazing. She has almost doubled everyone else's vote and no one could have predicted that. Like no. I said, it's changed every week. Yeah. So who do you think is just underneath you on 16.9? Oh. Ed? I thought Drew. Drew? Drew? I Let's have know. a look. Drew? Ed? Really? Oh, so it was nearly oh. Ed tonight. And then on 17%? We will reveal. You're Drew, right, and Drew. Then Tim. And then Tim on 17.8. Oh. So that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I would have thought it would have been Tim on 32. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Although Tahan is, you know, it's good that Tahan's there. Well, the only girl nominated this week too, so yeah. that's interesting. That could have had something to do with the enormous number of votes. So yeah. In the house, you were a little bit of a fish out of water. Oh. And you oh, yeah. found yourself doing things there that you'd never done before. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm so glad I'm having this croissant. Is that the first time I've had a croissant? Do you like right. them? Yeah, I love it. Great, I hate change. <laughs> I'm never the first to try anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't invite new experiences or challenges into my life frequently. Drop and point and toe. <laughs> That's oh, it. Oh, Ben! Ben! I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Well done. Never have a dog on my bed, ever. <laughs> ben! Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really had much to drink throughout my life. Oh, I wouldn't even know how to open this. <laughs> I hadn't been in a swimming pool for like a decade. I hadn't ever had a natural suntan this century, but if you pursue me long enough, I'll probably give in and have a go. This is my very first <laughs> fake tan. It really has been a journey of reinvention and self-discovery, which I did not think that it would oh be at all. I've got them on. I've got them on. Ben has the same red boxes on tonight. So what was the moment that you know, you most surprised yourself in the house? That I most surprised myself. I surprised myself every day. Every time I just got out of bed, I thought, good on you, Ben. <laughs> good on you. Um, so how do you think this experience is going to change the way you are and the things that you do on the outside now? I get a bit closed off to try new things. I get, I get really scared and I stick to what's safe. I think we all probably do that to a certain extent, you know. But um, I might say yes uh, more often than no yeah. and give things a go. Why I'm, not? I might go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Live large, Benny. <laughs> now, another first for you was yeah. getting to meet your idols. Oh, my God. Bert yeah. and Patty Newton. And we get... loved watching it. Yeah. So let's have a look. Oh, good. If you could have one celebrity come and visit the Big Brother house, who would you choose and why? I'd love to meet Bert Newton. <laughs> ben, Big Brother can reveal to you that there are two very special people awaiting your presence in the Garden of Eden. Huh? Oh Happy birthday, birthday, to birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You know, Bert and Patty are Australian entertainment royalty. Oh, Mr. Newton. Oh, oh you can call him Bert. Yeah. Well, I've got to say that I think the world of him. You've made me a star, Bert. I think he's going to have uh, a terrific future because uh, television likes him. Now, this is from Bert and I. To say that I'm grateful is, a, is an understatement. I'm touched. Oh, Peter Alexander. <laughs> I've never had an expensive pair before. Patty danced with me. I was hopeless. <laughs> I got to wear Bert's toupee. Let me have a look. I've got to get it in the right position. Oh, my God. Well, Ben, that one's going to be hard to top <laughs> next year. It can't be beat. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben, describe that 
first moment when you saw Bert and Patty sitting in the Garden of Eden waiting for you? It's so strange. You know in The Wizard of Oz and it's all black and white and then Dorothy lands in Oz and she opens the door then it's all colourful and beautiful? Mm -hmm. So I go into the Garden of Eden and there's a bed there and there's Bert and Patty laying on the bed and they're singing to me. <laughs> I mean, it's a, I mean it's, it's a dream. It's a dream. Yeah, absolutely. And you got to wear Bert's hair. Yeah, I got to I got to wear Bert's toupee called Eddie, named after Eddie Maguire. That's right. And then uh, I, they signed my record, my Bert and Patty family album, and they even sang a song off that album for me. Oh, I know it was brilliant. All yeah. right. Well, still to come, we want to get your take on who is arguably the biggest player in the house. So, Ooh. what does Ben really think about Troublemaker Tim? Now he's gone. Who does he think will win? the whole thing. Ben just put on this voice and it creeped me out. Yeah, g'day. What is it? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. I won't remember that. <laughs> what are you looking at, mate? Hey? You reckon you can handle it? I'll tear you down, mate. Yeah, and no, I reckon she'll go good. We'll have to have a workout later on. <laughs> you and I. Eh? Yeah, you're probably fine at your gasket. I like my workouts in the bedroom. <laughs> eh? You're in the right place, you're already in the sack. That's where I want you. There you go, darling. Let's get those kids, put them in daycare for about a year. <laughs> has just twisted his way out of the house in a shock eviction. We loved your alter ego, Brett. Oh. What do you think Brett would say about, you know, if he was here tonight? Oh, it's a bloody shame I got evicted. <laughs> Something like that. Actually, people were saying on Twitter that you were actually an actor or that you were a stand-up comic. I know. They, I'm just Ben from Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> No, you might not. I used to be a flight attendant, that's it. <laughs> you might not know this, Ben, but you have actually been one of the most popular housemates this year. Uh, really? When you were fake evicted, when you, you remember when we fake evicted you? That was because you received the most votes to save. Aww. So now that's... you're out of the house, though. Who do you think will win? I thought Tim. I thought Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not a betting man, but if I, if I had to bet, I, I, I'd say Tim. I thought it was interesting you said it was t Tim's game to win and Ed's game to lose. Yeah, I just thought, um, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get a bit serious now. I just, I just thought looking at it, you know, Ed ticks all of those boxes. You know, he's very good looking. Uh, everyone would like to have him as a brother or mm -hmm. a brother-in-law or a son. Tim, or... on the other hand, you had a very hot and cold sort of relationship yeah. with. He pushed your buttons, didn't he? He pushed but them. But he also offered you a lot of support. So I think we should take a look at your relationship with Tim. Yeah, complicating. My relationship with Tim is sort of love-hate. All I want to do is love you, Ben, and you won't <laughs> let me. When you dress like that, it makes me love you. We are completely opposite in everything. He's kind of like an older brother, even though I'm actually two years older than him. <laughs> no, you can lay on, lay on top. Ben lives on his little island, and it's been a real learning curve for him to be in here. But he, at the end of the day, wants to go back to his island. I love that about Ben. He's like, I'm not changing just to fit in here. We have a real mutual respect for each other. We are now linked forever. Mm. On Wikipedia, <laughs> in real life. He, he sort of sees something in me that I don't. He makes me feel kind of normal, you know. Ben's not strategic and a game player. Ben's just lovable. I'm so excited! <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim. <laughs> so, straight up, Ben, do you consider Tim a friend? Sorry? Do you consider Tim a friend? Yeah, I think Tim's a, a, a friend. He's just, he's, um, Tim's hard to like. He's hard to like, but he's also, um, he's hard to dislike as well. He, he does it on purpose, I think, maybe to protect himself from, uh, from getting close to other people, maybe. Right. I think maybe he came into the game or in, in, on, onto the show not wanting to make friends because yes. he thought they might get in the way of his... Of his winning the game, Of his winning the game, yeah. So what do you think of the way he's playing the game? Uh, well, he's the stirrer of stirrers. <laughs> and I love watching the show as much as you must enjoy watching the show. And I think it must make for really funny uh, situations. But, um, yeah, he's a pain. 
He's <laughs> such a pain. And he does press your buttons. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Now, I can tell you this week you were nominated yeah. by Jade and Drew, but for strategic reasons. Oh, because, really? Well, I thought you were a sure thing oh. to stay in the game. Oh, so I never thought that. How do you feel about that? Jade and Drew. Mm. Re- oh, the smiling assassins. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were married. What do I know? <laughs> um, I was the only person with Matt that thought they were married. I'm surprised by that. Yeah. Um, do you know, when, when I got put on that exercise that I was most likely to win... Oh, yes, yes. I knew that was Least a jinx. Most... And I'm not superstitious. Oh. I knew that was a jinx. Jinx, too. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, you are a little bit eccentric, which we love. You talk to pictures. like I never knew I was odd. <laughs> I never knew. No, but we love the fact that yeah. you would just bust out a twist every now and then. <laughs> that was the good twist. fun. And you always remained a good friend friend to everybody else. So we want to show you some highlights from your time in the Big Brother house. (laughs) Hello, the Big Brother house, Ben speaking. Oh, that was fun. That's a very fetching pair of (laughs) pyjamas. I've lived alone for 10 years on my own and I'm just so used to I'll just go brush my teeth, I'll just go do my skin, hop into bed. This kind of halfway life, ironically, suits me. <laughs> oh, God, love us. You wait till we get out of here and you meet the real me. I'm not even gay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate pyjamas. <laughs> I'll tear you down, mate. Okay? <laughs> The nerds strike back. (laughs) On 11 points, Ben. (gasps) On 6 points, Ben. Which housemate do you choose to sacrifice? I'm so sorry, Ben. I'm so sorry, Ben. I know you've got a massive fan base, though. The nominees this week are Ben. It's a lot harder than I thought, but... This experience has shown me that when you think you've had all you can take, you'd be surprised just how much more you can take. Ben, your eviction is a fake. (laughs) I love that. It's a hospital fold. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. What are you talking about? I'll get you next time. (laughs) For me, the experience hasn't been a holiday. It hasn't been a shot at fame. It's just been a really kind of personal journey. I don't have anything to go back to. Oh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> Goose. You do have so much to go back to because we're not going to leave you, Ben. I love a good twist. <laughs> this experience to me has just been one of the most momentous, life-changing experiences of my life. Hashtag later. <laughs> I know what that is. coming on Big Brother and being a totally awesome housemate. It's a shame that you have to leave. Yeah. But I know one person in particular is going to be very glad to have you back, and that's your mum, Margaret. through that interview, no tears, as soon as you see your mum. <laughs> yeah. Aww. That's so sweet. Well, Margaret, thank you for being part of the show. Thank you, Ben. Give it up once again for Ben and his mum, Margaret. And don't forget to join us tomorrow night at 7pm for a full trial night of nominations. The game is getting very serious indeed. Michaela's superpower will allow her to watch over two of her fellow housemates while they nominate. She will see and hear everything. Hashtag awkward. And keep watching now for the premiere of Tony Collett's thrilling new drama, Hostages. I'm Sonia Kruger. See you tomorrow.
Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.